Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brickazoids Den. So today, I wanted to make a little bit of like a, I don't know, what would you even call it, like a hunt update video. Not really. But, basically, I've had to change my March 1st purchasing plan, because I don't want to spend, like, a b crazy amount of money on LEGO in March on March 1st, because there's still the summer coming up. So, uh, I've had to kind of switch around my, pur my, my, my purchasing plan, because there's kind of a lot of stuff coming out on March 1st for LEGO. And I thought I would kind of go through it and tell you what I'm thinking, basically, for the March 1st, uh, for the March 1st hunt. So, of course, uh, on March 1st, there is going to be a Tower of Fate coming out for $100. A lot of money. 100 bucks is a lot of money for me, I guess. I don't know. It's right. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. $100. That's a lot. And, um, spending $100 on one set is is uh it lowers my budget it, it brings my budget pretty much down I, I haven't actually got or like settled on a complete budget yet but i don't again i don't want to be spending all of my money on all the lego on march 1st that's just i, don't know. I just don't feel comfortable doing that so i think i'm going to skip some sets coming out in march 1st and just save them for another time um uh to get maybe sometime during the holidays or something like that or maybe if there's a crazy sale i'll just decide to pick some stuff up but for the Tower of Fate, this DC set, absolute day one purchase. Absolutely. This this is the one set so far that I cannot uh I cannot um skip on. I need to purchase this set. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. So no matter what happens, this set is always gonna come first. Even though it's it's pretty expensive. Now, um with that being said about the DC set. There's also the Harry Potter wave that's coming out of those four sets. And I think I'm probably going to skip one or two of those. I don't know. I mean, they're good sets. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty all right. Um, and I really want some of the figures in there. But I, I don't, again, I don't want to be spending a lot of money or too much money. So um, I am probably going to skip some of those. I haven't really thought about it much. But I'm thinking I might skip the... Trelawney book set that's thirty dollars. I might skip that one, and I also might skip the hospital wing, the um the one with Madame Pomfrey in it, and just kind of put those aside for another time, um, because again I don't want to be spending a lot of money here. Although at this point I'm already up to like what one ninety if I were to skip on those, so I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't really matter. But um. I, I do really want the, the Mad-Eye Moody one, so I'm at least probably going to get that one if any of the Harry Potter sets there. Because um, I do want Mad-Eye Moody, that figure, really badly because I don't have one. And the uh, large magical trunk set, whatever that is. Not crazy about the build, but I like the customizable fit. Maybe I'll skip that one, too. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll swap that one out for the uh, hospital wing, or maybe even the... I, I don't know. I, I'm still kind of going through it in my head, but... Um, I definitely, I think, I think the Mad Eye Moody one, I'm definitely gonna purchase, uh, 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 along with the Tower of Fate from DC, and then uh, the other Harry Potter sets, I'll have to kind of like, I don't know, reevaluate, I guess. Now, there's also the topic of Lego Star Wars sets coming out on March 1st, and at the time of this recording, I've got, there's been no pictures, there's been no crazy information about the Star Wars sets coming out on March 1st. Um, I know the January 1st wave was a bit small, I'd say. It only had the Hoth Battle Pack, the AT, uh, a no, the ATST, and then also the Microfighter of Mando. At least in uh, in the U.S., I think I, I believe it's all of the U.S. The blister packs, the accessory packs, did not release on January 1st, and I believe they release maybe on March 1st. I have no clue. the The Lego website just says coming soon, so my guess is March 1st, but I have zero clue. Um. I was thinking, and I think I'm probably going to skip the clone the clone um, pack, or at least save it for a way other time. Um, and then on top of that, I don't know if there's any other March sets. That might be Book of Boba sets, because at, uh, at that time, Book of Boba would be over. So they could probably do a lot of sets for that um, at that point. So I don't know if those are when those sets come out. I don't know if those are going to be saved for the summer. But um, yeah. There's a uh, there's a lot that could happen. This this could be an expensive year. I know I uh, made that video about my my wallet really hurt and really struggling, 
and it definitely will be. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, uh, going on, uh, 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 this year for Lego. And, um, but yeah, for Star Wars, if there was a Book of Boba set, I really would love to get the, um, the Book of Boba Java's Palace thing, which I believe is confirmed for a hundred. I don't, I, or at least leaked for a hundred. And, uh, I might have to skip on that one, which is a shame. Um, and just save it for another time. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm really struggling because I don't want to spend a lot on March, but there's so much coming out on March 1st, you know, um, cause there's a lot, and then there's a lot coming out in the summer. There's so much expensive stuff in the summer, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I got to figure it out still, but I thought I'd kind of give the, the update here on what my thoughts are for the March, uh, stuff, the March wave. And, uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed that video, do the common YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.